It's fiery. It's a story of love and hate. A bundle of contradictions. It protects and attacks. It hurts but heals. The identity of India that comes from a foreign land. This is the enticing story of a spoonful of pain. The air is acrid, tempers frayed. Amidst mounds of red, buyers and sellers haggle. Chili commands a very special respect in our spice markets. The sellers assertive, the buyers choosy. India, the largest producer and exporter of the spice that literally breathes fire. Our exploration of this fiery spice begins on the ship of Christopher Columbus. It was the age of discovery. The search for spices was on. Columbus sailed from Portugal to look for India and pepper, reached America instead and discovered not black pepper but chili. Confusing the hot chili with black pepper, Columbus named the fiery spice chili pepper. Chili was chili, not pepper. A spice unknown to most of the world back then. India too had not tasted chili at that time. Chili originated in South America nearly 6,000 years ago. But it was the Portuguese that spread chili globally, from its home to the rest of the world. Certainly in India, it's exotic. It is not Indian in origin. And the chilli pepper has a very long history which also involves uh, Christopher Columbus and many interesting personages. The exotic spice chilli, just five centuries old in India. It's a love story that blossomed in each and every kitchen with almost no exception. No wonder then, India has become synonymous with chilli. The curry nation consumes 10 lakh tons of chilli each year. Admi, chahe asu bhai, chahe kuch kare, lekin wo bina mirchi ke to nahi kha sakta. Impossible hai. Koi tasty nahi reh jayega. An entire family of plants cooks in the pan. Potatoes, tomatoes, brinjal and chilli from the same Solanaceae family, the nightshades. Chilli is the fruit of plants belonging to the capsicum genus. Capsicum comes from the Greek word capsimo, meaning to bite. But Indians had not been bitten by the chili till just 500 years ago. It was the European sailors who introduced us to their loved spice when they came for trade. 
people actually first of all rejected that because the pungency was never been a part of our culture Indians till then had only used black pepper or ginger to add a delicate sting to their meals the fiery chili was unpalatable the portuguese wanted it but indians refused to grow it to break the stalemate the chili lovers attributed to it super magical powers these portuguese people introduced chili plant into that particular thing that this is having a pungent taste which is very tikha and if you are going to plant this plant in your farm that evil spirit will run away superstition always dies a natural death but chili was a winner in a span of little more than 500 years chili has become indispensable in the indian kitchen the versatile cross pollinating plant took to the indian soil and climate today india is by far the biggest producer of chili with more than 10 lakh hectares of land growing the fiery spice chili adopted india occupied land evolved today it grows in a number of states india is considered the secondary center of origin of chili because of its tremendous diversity in the country each of these states producing a diverse variety of chilies diversity in color shape pungency why would a plant choose pungency why would a bite suit its makeup how and when did the chili become hot with these very questions we arrive at the indian institute of science bengaluru the biological sciences department a hub of activity a multidisciplinary team researching the unique relationships that exist in nature the interplay of life for survival and evolution if i were to take the biology of the chili pepper first the gene for the hotness probably there was a single uh, mutation or a single point which gave capsaicin and the subsequent um, descendant species all acquired uh, capsaicin because of their ancestry a single mutation in the gene from non spicy to hot the fire in chili was born its chemistry changed something that meant it could still be friends with the birds that dispersed its seed kage bekas kare du kage tintade kage kare agudilla kage kare idu menesanne tinnadechu birds cannot sense the fire in chili no pain just gain they love the colorful fruit packed with vitamins but mammalian herbivores can sense its heat herbivores that are the plants enemies while feeding they would crush the seed and destroy it an interesting coevolution chili selected a favorable trait for survival something that made sure its enemies stayed away but friends near chili seeds are softened in the guts of the birds during digestion softened but intact they travel to far away lands and get deposited in rich bird droppings So chilies not just traveled with the portuguese sailors they flew with birds but the story of evolution and survival never without subplots researchers across the world have proved beyond doubt the antifungal and antimicrobial effect of the spice in chili a mutation that guards it against harmful soil microbes so what makes chili pungent Inside the fruit are a unique group of compounds the capsaicinoids of these the most important one is capsaicin greater its concentration hotter the chili capsaicin lies in the placenta the white membrane to which the seeds are attached some heat is transferred to the seeds by contact but definitely not stored in them 
when we bite into a chili this is what happens when you put them in the mouth they are have pungent taste they certainly interact with the receptors and create that uh, if i can call violent sensation heat and pain that's what chili causes the chemistry of this spice different from our flavor sensations when food reaches our mouth the taste buds covering the tongue pick up the molecules sweet sour salty bitter it's a chemical sense different flavors lock on to specific receptors and the nerves carry the information to the brain this works for all tastes but chili is different it's not a taste but a sensation of pain heat the colorless odorless flavorless compound capsaicin tricks our nervous system the mouth's pain receptors pick up the sensation not the taste buds but pain receptors the information is carried to the brain the brain interprets and signals the body the body responds the heart starts beating faster the body tries to cool down blood surges sweat appears a runny nose watery eyes and the body cools capsaicin also releases endorphins in the body the feel good hormones a sense of happiness mirchi ek tongue flavor taste hai na ho to jaban ko jab mirchi lage to apna aadmi kha sakta agar mirchi nahi to nahi kha sakta mirchi ho namak ho nahi to nahi kha sakta aadmi why do chili and children not go together the answer lies in this very perception of heat and pain our bodies get accustomed to the hotness learn to like it gradually how is it for those who work with chili how does their body their skin take the heat and burning shuru shuru mein jara mirchi ja ye karta date nikalta tha na to haath mein bahut jalan hoti thi dard abhi nahi hota hai pehle aadat ho gaye na 28 saal se mere ko aadat hui hai abhi kaam karne mein bahut maza aata hai The heat of chili is perceived by the pain receptors all over the skin. Gradually the skin gets used to it. The spice box in the Indian kitchen is incomplete without the red hot chili powder. Ripe mature chilies are spread out in the sun to dry. What seems like a mundane job of grinding dried chilies is actually a skilled one. different varieties of chilies mixed in to blend in the right color and pungency the consumer choosy about this spoonful of pain mumbai has an entire lane dedicated to chili the mirchi gali equipped to handle the very varied tastes aur mirchi pe kar to zindagi nahi hai lukha khana kitne din khayenge mirchi pehla chahiye buyer or seller pungency has come to be liked for the common man pungency is very often judged by trial and error but in today's world of scientific precision numbers matter grades needed to measure and research with chili brings in its own challenges to hame pehle mask pehna padta hai fir gloves ऐसे लैब कोट पूरा पूरा कवर करना पड़ता है थोड़ा सा भी अगर लग जाता है मैं आंख या कहीं भी हो वो जलने लगता है और हालत बहुत खराब कर देता है चिली हैज अ स्केल ऑफ पंजेंसी अ मेजर फॉर हॉटनेस द स्कोवल स्केल डिवाइज्ड बाय एन अमेरिकन साइंटिस्ट विल्बर स्कोवल चिली इज मिक्स्ड इन शुगर सॉल्यूशन द पंजेंसी मेजर्ड बाय द डाइल्यूशन एट व्हिच द ह्यूमन टंग कैन परसीव इट It needs to be hotter than 107.6 degree Fahrenheit or 42 degrees Celsius. While capsicum stands at zero, no pungency, the reading increases with different varieties. At the top, the bite of fire, Bhutsolakya, the Naga chili from North East India. Ah. 
Uh, it's uh, it's having very high capsaicin to the extent of 10 to 12 lakhs SHU units of pungency. Uh, it's very hot and uh, even doing powdering uh, in the lab itself is very difficult. Bhutsalakya, the Naga Chili, occupies a place of honour in the hotness chart. Its pungency is intolerable even to the most avid chili lover. One single chili, supposedly enough to add a big kick to a meal of 200. Lal Mirchi, Khara Pudi, Longka Marich, Mulaku, Milagai Marcha. It's a love hate relationship. Can't do without it. Chili powder by any name spells hot. Mirchi under jaladi hai, ag bar se jaladi hai. When the mouth is burning, it's a bad idea to drink water. Water actually spreads the heat all over the mouth, making it worse. What helps is milk, curd or cream. Is this love for the spoons full of pain good for us or bad? What is the truth? Does it really cause ulcers? Acidity, loose motions, hair fall and loss of eyesight as commonly believed. I said देखे जाए तो मिट्टी तीखी और लाल चाहिए बेस उसके अलावा खाने के लिए तो अच्छी है लेकिन काफी जने कहना है कि भाई इससे अल्सर होता है काफी तेज खाने से. Myths are dangerous. Lack of information harmful. We seek answers at the CFTRI Mysore. A dedicated team of food technologists working out of a grand palace. An entire department dedicated to research in spices. Myth has been dispensed off. Capsaicin is a drug. Certainly it doesn't cause ulcer. It acts as anti-ulcer agent. Scientists world over have proven beyond doubt that the antibacterial action of chili safeguards our intestines from ulcers by destroying the very bacteria responsible for it. In fact, it protects the intestines and even promotes digestion. In another interesting experiment, the anti-inflammatory property of chili has been studied. Rats were fed chili powder rich in capsaicin over a period of time. Inflammation was then induced in their paws. The pre-treated rats showed lesser inflammation, better recovery. Capsaicin is finding use in managing pain, especially in age-related problems like arthritis. Several gels and balms containing capsaicin have been developed. When applied, they induce a series of reactions. The body releases endorphins, the natural painkiller. Also blocks pain messages, bringing relief. Its use, however, should be on medical advice. The fiery chili, often discredited, packs in quite a healthy punch. It also improves circulation and prevents blood clots. Its health potential becomes vast with its very special properties. Capsaicin is the only food molecule in the globe it is documented and reported to say it will increase your thermogenic process in your body. In the battle against obesity, chili could be a friend. Our chili yatra brings us to the cool city Bengaluru, where the hot spice is centre stage. IIHR has a multi-pronged chili breeding program, developing disease resistance, drought tolerance, better high yielding varieties is their aim. An impressive germplasm of chili is maintained here. A scientific effort to create safer crop for the farmer. Cross breeding is an exciting labor of love. 
Me, it is a highly variable crop. It is very beautiful to see the variability of chili. As a breeder, I enjoy when I sow that seed, the type of plant I get, the type of fruits I get, it will be very exciting. While institutes are trying to save chili, chili has saved many. Its use for defense and offense, well documented in history. Pre-independence Bengal riots. Women poured water, spiked with chili, to drive away the rioters. In today's world, when young girls find themselves unsafe, chili becomes a handy deterrent. Chili powder from the kitchen bolsters courage. एक लड़का मुझे बहुत परेशान करता था और मेरे को बहुत तेज गुस्सा आता था मेरे को मेरे दिमाग में आया कि मिर्ची पाउडर लेके उसके आंख में डाल दूं और मैं रोज अपने बस्ते में रखती थी द डिफेंस रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डीआरडीओ हैज इन फैक्ट डेवलप्ड अ नोवेल एंड नॉन लीथल वेपन फॉर यूज द कैप्सी स्प्रे यूजेस कैप्सेसिन फॉर डिफेंस एंड सेफ्टी From crime to conflict, Chile is taking many avatars. This is elephant land. These villages, lush with bananas, cane, coconuts, food that attracts the mighty beast. Resolving the conflict is Chile. Farmers have been trained to protect their crop from the raiding elephants. Chili paste and waste oil is all it takes. Ropes around the standing or harvested crop are smeared with this pungent mix. Namge adrinda aap aur paadi ge idre adu shesta. Adu bandu tindkon hod kodle adu dusmana aagtade. The farmers who would be compelled to harm the elephant are now using the fire of chili to keep them away. The elephant extremely sensitive to the hotness of the spice while chili smear ropes work short distance it's the acrid chili smoke that the elephants sense from far away waste chili packed between dry straw and coconut husk a contraption that costs next to nothing when darkness descends The bundles tied strategically are burnt. They burn slowly. The acrid smoke spreads far. Ani hechagi na wo hoge ne use martha idhe. Man, jaldi past akta idhe ado. Ani ban tandre immediately five minutes. Farmers report that elephants sneeze, cough, and leave immediately. the elephant safe from human wrath the farmer and his crop safe so even they are able to save their crops using such simple low tech solutions like chili smoke or chili rope uh, it is a win win situation for both it's a win win situation and center stage is chili our spice box is an ancient journey the journey of food and taste nutrition health and wellness the hot chili a cool spice a wise spice la, 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 la.